Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to P-Band Vlogs and today we're doing a band's product pick review Retro edition. We got a Casio RZ1 digital sampler drum machine here and we're about to go back in time All right, my boy Eric he scored the storage unit that had all the family of the Roland drum machines, a whole bunch of other odds and ends. This was in here, it was just sitting in his room. He's like, here, why don't you just vlog this real quick and see what this is about. When I brought it home, it actually got a flashback from me. This is a little bad boy right here, the RZ1. It's pretty popular on the house music scene back in the day. Used a lot of samples in the hard house days. This is the original box. Came out in 1986. Got all those old raw sounds. The most popular, I think, that people would know this was made with was uh, Steve Poindexter. Work that motherfucker. Work that motherfucker. I believe he only used this machine only. It's got a sampler on it. I don't even think it's two seconds worth of sounds. I think you do about, I think it's like 0.8 seconds per sample bank. You can't edit the samples either. It's just once you record them in, they're in there. The samples also don't trigger on beat because you can't edit the samples. It puts a little minor delay in the beginning of the sample, so it's a little bit off beat. You really can't put solid notes in there, so I believe he triggered his vocals off those four banks and that's how he utilized them and just used a drum kit on there they're all pretty familiar sounds if you're familiar with house music so let's run through some of the samples they got on here it's pretty dope in its time it has eight individual outs just like the rolling drum machines you got your individual volume sliders here for live production or even for mix sounds if you want it has eight for the instruments then it has two for the samplers it gangs up one and two and three and four on one slider the cowbell and crash on one it has the clap and the ride on another one the hi-hats are shared, the rims and snares are shared on, the, on one track as well. Then they got the snare and the rim on one, and then they got the kick drum and the three toms on separate ones, I guess maybe because of their low. Here are your quick options, and you got a little small display screen. On the back, you got your individual outs. There's eight for instruments, and there's two for samples. And then you also have a left and right stereo out. You got your midis. There's also one labeled MT. It's also on the front here, MT. That's for music tape. I know you guys are familiar with hard drives. I don't know if you guys are familiar with floppy drives, but this one took a cassette tape drive. You're able to save your data onto a cassette tape. That is crazy. That is old stuff. Also very old. I remember with the cassette tape, we used to wait half a day to load in games into our Atari 800 or Commodore computers. It's crazy. But hey, you can save stuff on here. Then you got your recording in and out. There's no tuning on this. It has two tunings for the samplers, but that's about it. You can't tune these sounds. You can't edit the samples. You can make patterns in songs, but you can't play the patterns back to back. You have to put them in song mode to listen to them back to back, or just remember what you made, and that's how you go about the patterns. That's pretty crazy. All right, let's go through the sounds on this. Let's start off with the toms. Here's the third time. Nice deep bass. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Here's the horrible kick drum. <laughs> it's like those Casio keyboards. Here's the snare. That's another horrible snare from the Casio keyboards. That rim, those classic. The hi-hats are real popular in house music. Here's the ride. <laughs> That's pretty horrible. Hand clap's pretty cool. Very usable. Here's the crash. And the ultimate cowbell. Pretty cheap sounds, but some of them became classic, like that cowbell and the clap and the hi-hats. Still floating around today out there. It's pretty simple. You just pick your pattern, you just press record, and that button there will turn red. And then it's a four beat pattern, I believe. Oh yeah, we got uh, stuff to clear here off here. Well here, let's go through deleting. All you have to do is just hold the delete button down and hold down the instrument you want to delete. So let's do that. So we'll press start. And let's get rid of the kick drum. What is it, a rim shot? 
get rid of that hand clap. Just hold down delete and hold down the instrument and they, they'll delete. And delete those hi-hats. And where's that cowbell? And get rid of the cowbell. And now you just got the metrotone on there. And then just lay down your kick. It's a pretty ugly kick. Let's throw a closed hi-hat in there. How that goes. <laughs> Pretty basic. Uh, open hat. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. We'll just leave the hi hat like that. Add a rim. And just add your 4-4 four, four clap. Alright, I pulled up the specs on this for you guys, for all you tech nerds. It's a digital type synthesis, ROM, sampling, real-time step for programming, that's cool. One sound per pad, ROM for samples. 12-bit sampling at 20 kilohertz, playback at 10 kilohertz. Filters is a 12 dB slope, low slope resonance. 18 poly, standard tuning, mono. It can store 100 patterns or 20 songs. Internally, external storage MIDI, which is the cassette tape. You can save to a cassette tape like a floppy disk. 16 pads, LCD, LED screen, quarter inch jacks for everything, frequency rate at 32. They listed for $5.99 back in the day in 1986. I see them online and eBay and everything. Around two, three hundred bucks. Hey, and I even got a user manual for you guys on this site. This is a pretty cool page. And cycleelectronics.com. Really cool site. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first edition of BAM's product pick review. Retro edition. This was the Casio RZ1 Digital Sampler Rhythm Composer Sampler Drum Machine. Classic sounds. Steve Poindexter made that track work that motherfucker on this drum machine using this drum machine only. And he definitely embedded some of those instruments into the electronic scene still use today. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like them. Check the corner up top. Check out all other reviews and unboxing videos or you can check them at the end of the video here. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video or stream. Later.